Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Aloha Friday. So uh, interesting morning this morning, right? We've got our big reports, the consumer spending, personal income, a couple other reports in there. And the big, the big spin on it right now is personal income went up 10%. Be careful with this, okay? Uh, it makes sense that it went up 10% because we had some openings of the economy and stuff like that. And you think about it, seven, eight months into the shutdown, um, one, things are lightening up, but, uh, um, you know, the, what they're doing is they're trying to give that $600 stimulus uh, credit for this. Now, I don't know, if you, $600, if a one-time check of $600 pushed your personal income up to... Uh, or your personal wealth up 10%, then <laughs> I'm not sure how to digest that either. But look, guys, it's positive, right? It's good things. And on top of the uh, in unemployment reports yesterday, you know, it shows that things are starting to come together. But it goes back to what I keep talking about, is that we don't really need this stimulus, uh, this next stimulus. What we need is to open the economy fully and also to just keep those protections for your your from your evictions and you know that little boost on the unemployment for the people that are still crossing that bridge from unemployment back into the workplace um that's a big help i think that's better than just sending out uh 1400 checks don't you a little bit of targeted money instead of just throwing money around the stimulus bill i think is going to the senate today we'll see how that goes uh the big bump right now for the democrats is on that bill or the Biden administration is that the $15 an hour, uh, the, the magistrate said that that cannot be in the bill if it's going to be re, uh, budget reconciliation, which is the rules. So, but now we're Pelosi and them are, you know, it's the old thing. You know, if you don't like the result of the rules, just change the rules or change the game in the middle of the game. But, you know, we'll see how that works out, guys. Um, inflation, inflation spooked the crap out of the market yesterday, right? With those, that rate move up to 1.5. Let's go take a look at my screen here. And we'll uh, go over some of these numbers real quick. So you can see futures right now. Let me refresh this. Uh, with about maybe about 35 minutes before the market, you can see the s and is up about 16. Dow's uh, down about 30. But uh, before these reports came out, it was down 100. It was down pretty, uh, a little bit substantial. Uh, the NASDAQ, this makes sense, right? Uh, the NASDAQ has just been decimated over the last couple of days. Uh, a little bit of a relief rally uh, makes sense. Uh, what you want to do is, like I was talking about the last couple of days, still trade cautious, guys. Don't go just balls deep into a rally and stuff like that. Could be a dead cat bounce. You never know. Um, let's go check rates while we're at it. And you can see that uh, 10 years pulled off that 1.5, got as high as 1.6 yesterday. But remember, all that action happened once the market opened. So uh, we're not going to we're not going to try to guess what the market's going to do going uh, going into the day. It's Friday. Uh, not much on witching. Uh, I think we just got some weeklies uh, on the board. So options probably won't be creating much volatility with their action. Uh, so it should be a kind of a pure market. Let's see if we do get a little relief rally. Let's see if it's a dead cat bounce. Um, we'll probably look to cash out that spider play. It went nice and profitable yesterday. So you guys that are following along, that spider short, we'll probably get rid of that today. We won't carry it into next week. Uh, it expires next Friday too. So if we can get a profit today, then we can, you know, maybe get some fresh money on the board over the next couple of days, maybe into next week. But just stay cautious, guys. You know, like I said, it's a good report, guys. It's a it's a very good report. If we pop over and see, you know, personal income jumped ten percent after a 0 0.06 increase, and the gain came from the six hundred dollar checks. Like I said, guys, I don't know. Uh, uh, we're in a lot worse shape economically if a six hundred dollar check turned everybody's personal income uh, up. 10%. But <laughs> anyways, uh, here's the other thing too. So retail sales were surging. Uh, we talk about it all the time, right? We are a consumer based economy. I think it's about three quarters of our economy is consumer spending. So these are good things. And like I said, if you compound them with yesterday's uh, unemployment report, there's some light at the tunnel. But unfortunately, I think, and that's what rates are showing you, is that this next stimulus, we don't really need that. We just need a little bit of a bridge, keep people from getting evicted, 
uh, the unemployed that are still trying to get back into the workplace while it opens um, or find a new job, uh, a little bit of beef up on that unemployment, right? I think they're getting like four, four, five hundred dollars. I'm not sure. But uh, that's the main thing. I don't think we have to pump out fourteen hundred dollar checks to just everybody and their brothers. Um, but we'll see how that shakes out. Uh, other than that, guys, let's go check futures one more time. It's Friday. It's Aloha Friday. So you guys take it easy today. Don't get too stressed out. Um, get ready for the weekend. You can see futures are kind of flatlined at this point. Oil is kind of getting a little beat up, but it's still holding that $60 level. Now, oil, your oil rises. We talked about this last week, right? Your oil uh, appreciation, your copper appreciation, copper, right? Uh, 6% of every smartphone is copper. That's just a small example. Imagine what a Bitcoin miner uh, house looks like with copper. All these accelerations in the price uh, create inflation. So we want to see how this works out and we don't want to get too crazy over, over here. Um, or too euphoric, okay? Uh, other than that, guys, you have a great Friday, okay? We'll just do a quick report this morning. Um, we're not really looking to put trades on the board on a Friday, um, but we, we'll, we're we looking for opportunities. But mostly, we'll probably see if we can cash out this spider at a nice profit. Uh, other than that, guys, you guys stay tight. Make sure you've got some good stocks, right? Uh, remember what, uh, I think it was Charlie Munger that said, there's never a bad time to buy a good stock, Okay. Um, so consider that with your portfolios. I know I talk about it all the time too. We're options traders, but you should have some beef in your portfolio guys. All right. So let's see how we shake out. It's Friday. Sometimes it gets lethargic. You never know. People are a little beat up after yesterday. They might be looking for some green. They might be buyers this morning. Let's see. Let's let the market tell us what's, uh, uh, Let's get, let the market tell us what it's going to do. So you guys have a great Friday, okay? Um, thank you for watching as usual. And we'll catch you guys, catch up with you guys on Monday, okay? All right.